McDonald's is a place to rock. It is a restaurant where they buy food to eat. It is a good place to listen to the music. People flock here to get down to the rock music. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. Jackie's done a lot of pageants. She's very beautiful. You are gorgeous. And you I've asked her. Here. When people are, There's you a know, lot of hot ladies around of here. Of course there are. What else would you expect? What would you do if you didn't play music at all? Um, well, if I didn't play music, I would probably be working at UPS actually. You, That's where my last job was. Really? Yes. How long ago was that? Uh, I quit at the end of 1992. Wait, so, okay, but would you want to keep working there? Is there something that you would have wanted to do, like, in a perfect world and music wasn't there? What would you want to do? You know what? Honestly, that probably would have been my job that I wanted to do. <laughs> when my eyes are over here. <laughs> you want so, me yeah, to, what are you doing you later? Switch uh, seats? Yeah, you don't mind if we... Uh, no, absolutely. No, I'd rather... The only other job I had was working at a grocery store. Yeah. I actually worked at an art supply store briefly as well. So working at UPS was like, you know hitting the lottery for me. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, hopefully once and for all, we can put an end to all the confusion. This is Jackie, 7 to Midnight on GRD, and this is the one and only Full Metal Jackie, who you hear Sunday nights. Two different people. Two, Two completely, completely different, different people. people. <laughs> Full Metal Jackie, regular Jackie. You would be the best bowler for some reason, I think. Well, I've got a, I have a bowling tattoo. You do? Yeah. I have a, a bowling pin and bowling balls shaped like, uh, you know, like a dick. <laughs> no. What made you get that? My, uh, my dad has worked for Brunswick since he was like 15 and still to this day works for Brunswick. So I got it. It says dad on it. And my dad's got like a horrible sense of humor like I do. So, uh, yeah, I got it in the shape of a it. wiener and balls. I am all right. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a Jackie sandwich. Hell yeah. I only got one bowling pin, nine more. <laughs> I'll get whatever you want me to. Bowling ball on your ass. Bowling ball. She didn't even think about that. Ass. Like on the whole or like on oh, both cheeks? Wow. I'm thinking half on one cheek and the other half on the so other cheek. So the whole cheek. could be the whole. So, yeah. The whole would be the whole. Stick your thumb in. See you All right. There we go. Uh, the two of us are going to become close now. I like it. <laughs> but she. After this, I can't <laughs> At what, no, point, what, at what point? At what point? At what point does it? At what point does it get <laughs> awkward? I was gonna say. Do you think that it's bad for people then to play games where they're shooting everybody? Do you know what? I think, I think it's good, but only for a certain amount of time because people sit there all fucking day, and they just sit there and do this, <laughs> and uh, there's no motivation to do anything with your fucking life, which sucks my dick. So Sorry. we're saying now that. If for some reason, Bullet for My Valentine ever starts going like this, it's because of Call of Duty. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It never gets awkward. <laughs>